Hi kids, how are you all doing? I hope you're having a great Easter break. This week we are going to be talking about healing. Now, I know you're all really clever, so can you say or think of some things that you might want or need if you're not feeling well or if you're hurt or injured? Sorry, what was that? Couldn't hear you. That's a good shout, well done. You might want your favourite cuddly toy, because if you're feeling ill or hurt, you might be a bit sad, so you might want your favourite cuddly toy. You might want a hot water bottle, because you might be really cold, and that might really help. If you're feeling ill, your mum or dad might give you some tablets or some medicine. If you've hurt your arm or your hand or your knee, you might put a plaster on it. That's a really good shout, well done. And what do people always say? Have lots to drink when you're not feeling well. It's only water. And who might you go to? Well, you might go to your parents, you might run up to them and go, oh, I hurt my arm, I hurt my arm, I hurt my knee. Or if it's a bit more serious, you might go to the doctors or the nurses. Now, your body is amazing. Your body can like heal itself over time. That's why when you scrape your knee, it doesn't stay a graze or a bruise forever because your body heals itself. But sometimes there are things that are a little bit bigger and more serious than that. Now, in the Bible, Jesus has lots of examples of where he goes around and heals people. And we're going to look at just one of those today, okay? And I want you all to do some acting. I'll act along with you, but I want you to get involved too. So, there are two main characters or groups here. The first is Simon Peter's mother-in-law. Now, she's the one that's really ill. And the second is the crowd. So, decide amongst yourself who's going to play what part. I'm going to play Simon Peter's mother-in-law in this bit, okay? So, Simon Peter's mother-in-law is really ill. She's got a headache. Her tummy hurts really badly. And she just feels really, really drained. She's really cold, so you might want to wrap yourself up in a blanket. And she can't get out of bed. She's really tired. And now the crowd around her, they can see that she's really not well. They can see that she's in a lot of pain. And they're really concerned. They keep asking her lots of questions. And they keep um, checking she's okay. And they keep like surrounding her. And they're asking lots and lots of questions. They're saying she looks really green. It's all not very good. They're really concerned. Right, have you got all that done? Because the next part of the story is the best. Because Jesus comes. And he touches the woman's hand and suddenly she feels completely better. She doesn't need this blanket anymore. And that's amazing. Jesus has power over sickness. Jesus has the power to heal. But my favourite part of this story is what happens next. The woman gets up and immediately starts serving Jesus. Now, I know if I've not been feeling well, I tend to lay in bed a bit longer or have a drink or get up slowly. That's not what it says she did. She got up and immediately started serving Jesus. Now, I want to set that to you as a challenge for this week. In what ways can you be serving Jesus? In what ways can you be really thankful for the things he's done for you and show that to other people and serve him? See you later.